So right now I have skeletons, I have skeletal archers, I have a golem, and I can summon, I can revive enemies to fight for me for a little bit of time. Holy enemies here. Holy nuts. Alright, let's go try to fight the boss. I have a really bad feeling about this next boss, um, just because the main bosses have a lot more health than normal, and I won't be able to summon my minions because there's not any bodies in the boss room. But we'll see. I have my like super strong attack ready, so it should be okay. And here we go, the Chamber of Suffering. Jump in, I'm gonna convert the body with the minions. I'm gonna use my special attack. I should do a ton of damage. And got it, wow. <laughs> Killed him a lot faster than I thought it was. And now I'm completely out of room. Legendary sword. Yay! Finally! Been needing a new weapon. Alright. Of that I am certain. Legendary Hero weapon. The king's ear and whispered dark and evil magics into it. Instilling the notion Sweet. of Sweet. Oh, this Westmarsh. thing is awesome. Does Free lightning damage. The Archbishop. The Reduces cooldown movement speed bonus. Agreement. And it's one-handed. Oh, I can attack so much faster. I summoned like six, six archers, like all in the same area. Just decimated that guy. Okay. As we can, we're gonna lose my lightning bolt at 41. Oh, another legendary dropped back here. A legendary ring. Those are, those are definitely worthwhile. Uh, I'll probably take a moment here. Um, just pause for a second. I don't think there's a time. Is there a time limit? There used to be a time limit on these rifts. You had to get to the goal before a certain amount of time. Legendary ring. Oh yeah, that's definitely better. 116 intelligence, chance to deal 10% area damage on hit, reduces resource cost by 4%, plus 13% extra damage, or extra gold. After five consecutive non-critical hits, your chance to critically, critical hit is increased by to 100% for three seconds? What? Every five hits, I get to do a critical hit? That is crazy. I okay, yeah, we're pretty much just going place to place. Just destroying all the monsters, killing everything we can. I'm trying to go as fast as possible just so it's not like super boring. You don't have to kill all the enemies, just there's like there's some enemies that are blue and some enemies that are like gold. And those enemies, like this one right here, this is like a rare mob or a rare monster. I guess that's what they call them. I forgot what they call them, but uh they give a lot more experience and a lot better drops, but they're harder to kill, they're like the mini bosses. 
they also uh, charge the bar a lot faster. So I'm mainly looking for them. I'm just summoning tons of creatures because I'm a necromancer. And I can actually raise the dead as well, so I can I can have enemies fight for me for a certain amount of time. Alright, the Rift Guardian's up, so there's a little mini boss. I don't have my special ability up, so this is actually gonna be a little bit challenging. And there's also some little mini boss monsters over there. Sweet. And we didn't find much, but it was pretty fun. We found like two legendary aims, I think. At least one legendary. Okay, I'm gonna try for an aimlet. And wow, okay, that was actually pretty good. Sweet. Um, and let's try a weapon. I just want to see. Actually, let's try an offhand. Mystery, blah, blah, blah. 25. That look nice Whoa! Iron Rose Legendary. 15 pro Oh man, that's gonna improve my damage so much. Let's try a weapon as well. That weapon sucks, okay. So this is like gambling, sorta. <laughs> but I cannot believe I found that. Iron Rose, nice. Oh, whoa. Okay, so my offhand is basically causing this like eruption of blood every so often, as you can see. Oh my god, that's crazy. So that offhand legendary item that I just picked up is actually giving me quite a huge boost compared to what I was before. Oh, and I forgot to check my skills. I've leveled up like 13 times since I started the stream and I have a lot more skills that I've unlocked, but I don't know, I guess I don't really need them. Alright, before I... Yeah, it's just good. Mm -hmm. So much easier than it was when... When this game first launched. When this game first launched, it actually took like a couple of days to get to level seven or sixty, I think. But now you just level up super fast. Level forty-four. Right, there's something over here that's going to give me even more bonus experience. Uh, reflection. Hard to even tell what's going on. So many explosions. Let's turn over here. But, uh, yeah, I should get should go back to that giveaway soon. This world 
can abide you no longer. Trying to level up as much as possible. So that I can get to level 60 or 70. That's when you start getting good stuff. Good thing. Crap, I forgot to I forgot to raise my minions. Damn. That was a mistake. Oh well. Not a big deal. Cheers. I'm gonna save my ultimate attack for the main boss. Else could have killed me previously. I was paying attention. Approach the grave robbers. Hey, there's something here. Until only the body roll. No, <laughs> that was a super easy event. Alright, 
Let's go all the way over here. Legendary, and we're about to fight the boss. I'm gonna save the legendary until we fight the boss. Oh, there's a treasure goblin. Where is it? I heard it. Where is it? What the heck? I heard it. Where'd it go? It's up top. There it is. No, run. Where'd it go? Oh, gotta kill this goblin. Kill the goblin? Yes, kill the goblin. Holy crap, that's a lot of good jewelry. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. There's way too many bosses chasing me. Holy crap. That was crazy. I almost thought I was gonna die for a second. There's just way too many enemies in the corner. But uh, yeah, we found a legendary chest armor. Level 50, sweet. Um, I might actually equip that if it's anything good. And then we also got our experience bonus. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and see what this armor is. Hmm. Increase command skeleton's damage by 11%. Gain thorns, empty socket. It's not really that great. Um, I mean, I could equip it, but then I would lose 20% experience bonus. Oh. 
out so many enemies. Ridiculous. I get frozen. I'm dead. I'm dead. No. No. Where's my health? Where's my health? Frozen. Come on, cute, 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 cute. I can't get out. I can't get out. I can't get out. Run. Oh my god. How am I still alive? I have no idea. Oh, sweet. I just got a legendary dagger. Oh, this is going to be so... My weapon currently is like level 30-something. Yeah, it's level 37. My new weapon is level 55. And as you can see, plus 300% damage. Okay, this is going to make the game so much easier. Envious Blade. Uh, gain 100% critical hit chance against enemies at full health. Wow, so instant critical hit against enemies at full health. I'm gonna go back and film a little bit. Get out of here. Uh oh. Darn! Darn! No! Can't move. Six. Well, my minions are like dominating. They just cleared out all those rare monsters without me having to do anything. But I can definitely do uh, expert now. I was struggling before, and just one drop changed everything. Garbage. I need to go back. 
we got a legendary maze, level 55 countdown. Increases attack speed by 5%. Yeah, this is not very good at all. <laughs> Critical hit damage increased by 31%. This is too low. Embraces you. What was that? It's not like I heard a treasure. Oh, there it is. Where to go? That was so fast. This world can abide you no longer. No. Okay. actually killed all my skeletons. Okay, that's not really that worth it. It kills your skeletons. After earning a massacre bonus, gold rains from the sky. What? That sounds awesome. Critical hit chance increased by 10%. Oh, man. Check out that massacre bonus. Savage Massacre. What? I got the Massacre, but where's the money? Or did I just automatically pick up the money? I don't know. <laughs> I think I did see gold come out. Yeah. Alright, so I got a massacre bonus. Let me just go over here and see. Yeah. <laughs> so basically just like maybe a thousand gold or something comes out of the sky or just spawns at my feet every time I get a massacre bonus. It's kinda cool. Where's the shaman? Oh. There it is. I want the strong. I need to go back. Alright, that was the last bounty. I'm gonna go back and probably do a Nephilim gate, and then I'll probably be done for today after I do that. Bunch of plans. Ooh, got a legendary amulet. I don't have a legendary amulet. Sweet. This is probably gonna be super good. Oh yeah. 606 intelligence, 81 resistance. Regenerates 3,000 life per second. 
250% recovery. Oh my god. Critical hit chance increased by 10%. Oh man. Monster Grant plus 130 experience. After earning a massacre bonus, six skeletons are summoned to fight by your side for 10 seconds. Awesome. This is just like perfect. This is like the most perfect thing I could possibly imagine right now. I don't think I'm ever going to need another amulet for the rest of the game. Yeah, I'm pretty much invincible right now because I picked up two, uh, two buffs, like temporary buffs, that are basically just making me invincible. I'm going to stand here and just uh, And I got nothing. That's my bag. Whatever that is. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. I got some cool stuff, but I think in the next episode I'm going to be respecking a lot of my gear or crafting new gear because I had no idea that my, the blacksmith was so low a level. Now I can craft all sorts of different set items. I'm probably going to save up 200 blood shards and purchase one of these, um, the PTR sets. I think those are only available in the beta, I don't know, but I think it gives you some pretty strong gear. And that's about it, so thanks for watching and have a nice day.